Hi, welcome. You're welcome to Genia Tech Booth. Right now here, I'm uh, introducing you some new stuff from Genia Tech. So first, uh, I want to introduce the product line that uh, Raspberry Very Pi like um, uh, developer board. We have um, uh, Raspberry Very Pi form factor boards uh, with um, NSP, Rock Chip, AM Logic chipset on board. So nice. They're right here? They are right, right here. With the 3568, 3566, 905X3, yeah. and NXP IMX8M Mini. Yes. So that gives you a lot of benefit, give the end user, a customer, developer, a lot of benefit. They can choose them, uh, which SOC that they like. Um, and it's in the form factor that's compatible with the whole Raspberry Pi market? Uh, yes, standard Raspberry Pi. We, we have the different SOC that can uh, uh, compatible uh, or compete with uh, uh, Pi 1, Pi 2, and Pi 3, and Pi 4. Uh, so the idea is to bring more, more choice, more performance, more yeah, more uh, someone, uh, some customers they need the um, best uh, performance, someone they need the uh, uh, lowest cost, someone uh, they, they want uh, longevity, uh, some, someone they need the uh, wide temporary range, industrial uh, grade, so we have all on one. Can you introduce one by one? So what are we looking at here? Okay. Yeah. This is based on a rock chip set, rock chip. And has and all the, the ports. Yeah, all the ports. That is not an important thing. The most important thing that is it supports both Linux and Android. And we have a Linux BSP that is quite similar to Raspberry Pi OS. So the developer who already developed the Raspberry Pi application based on Linux, they can move their application to this platform very quickly. And so this is this one, uh, or these two? Yeah, uh, actually all of them have have this feature. And uh, what's what's the Linux support? Uh, Linux, we we can support uh, um, Yocto, uh, Ubuntu, and Debian. And smooth, good GPU acceleration is possible. Ah, uh, yeah, GPU acceleration is there. And that's based on open source drivers or blobs that are somehow supported and provided that just work. Yeah. And all these GPUs are there. And uh, this one, what's the little board we see there? This one uh, is um, a very low cost, uh, rock chip 3122 based uh, uh, Raspberry Pi alternative board. The benefit is um, it's only have um, Hot core A7, but the cost is beautiful, so it's easy to be used for the cost sensitive applications. It also supports Linux and Android. How beautiful pricing are we talking about? Like very affordable for great uh, performance. You, they can think about uh, Pi 1's uh, cost can be uh, uh, the same uh, level of uh, uh, to compare to our our boards. And the favorite Pi 1. The Pi 1 is, uh, what's the chipset there that they use? They are use a Broadcom chipset. All right. So do you provide the alternative for people who want to do more? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, also, there is uh, uh, some shortage issues in the past three years for Broadcom chipset. Sorry to that. Uh, that, uh, that pain goes to the market, to the industry for years. So by having more choice, then it's more chance you find something on the market because some is more available than other. Some chipset is better, less challenging. Yeah, some um, uh, some has a more um, a more uh, performance, a higher performance. Some has a lower cost. Uh, also, there is a, one of the key product that we are uh, we are doing based on rock chip. There there is a, a TPU inside. So that's um, uh, that's. The uh, 3568 uh, from Rockchip. 3568 
and then it has uh, it's kind of like AI. Yeah, AI uh, capability inside uh, around the uh, two t two tops. Two tops. Uh, any chance you can do a small like this with a three five eight eight, or you uh, do yeah. other stuff with the yeah, three five eight eight? Um, good question. Actually, uh, it's not fair that we put a such kind of small stuff, put a, a very strong uh, chipset SOC from a, from a rock chip like the 3588 because it has a lot of interface that we cannot lead out all the useful interface on such a kind of a small board. So it's not a good idea for doing this. But for sure we could do that by demand but it's not um, uh, our plan to make such kind of board we want to we already have a 3588 board development board with more interface we lead out all the interface hdmi in hdmi out lvds mip and that's the bigger board that has board. everything yeah and we have a SOM a system or module 3588 module than the uh, customer or, or junior tech can do a um, carry board to lead out the necessary uh, uh, ports. And sometimes, even if it's a very powerful CPU, some people want to do just one thing and somehow they don't need so many connectors, but that then they work with you to make a smaller board with what they need. We have some already. So if they don't need all the ports or they just need this certain port, they can use our SOM and do a very simple daughter board, I mean a carrier board, then they can get what they want. And which one is the NXP? It's one of these, right? Yeah, it could be this. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I, then, let me let me let me take yeah. a look. Sorry, I missed it up. Yeah. One of those two. Yeah. Right. They they all look so similar. Yeah. All right, but by doing things again and again, you you get experience to just make things work better and smoother. You have a lot of experience, right? Uh, that that for for more than ten years for doing uh, ARM-based uh, boards for industrial use. When you look, when I look here at the S nine hundred five X three, you've been working with the ARM logic for so long, and you you know how to make like for set the box, but then it's useful for many different markets also. Um, Frank to say, M Logic is trying to uh, target also for uh, for the market, for um, vertical market, uh, by using their chipset. But compared to um, um, NSP, compared to Rock Chip, uh, they are still have some ways, uh, some work to do. And you help them that with that, basically? I'm helping. Yeah. And so on this kind of uh, device, usually it's it's like Android TV or something like that, but it can run Linux. Ah, uh, yeah, there is a Linux. Um, but most uh, popular uh, OS still on MLogic is uh, Android. Because it's very smooth. Yeah, it's very smooth, and uh, MLogic already baked a very good um, Android AOSP uh, BSP on top of their chipsets already. So uh, I recommend that a customer who want to use the M logic choose Android rather than Linux. But even with Android, you can do a lot of embedded stuff. Android for embedded is also a big potential. Um, I cannot say that. Uh, you know, right now Android uh, OS is bigger and bigger. Uh, so for the embedded uh, applications, that is not a good sign. All right. And what are we looking at here? What is this row down here? Okay, that is a uh, uh, SOMS system on modules made by Gen developed and manufactured by Genia Tech. This is a Q7. And when I look, it says three, five, six, eight. Industrial and level. All right. And we also have a smart. So. Genia Tech Row is um, bring Matis SOC to different uh, form factor, follow the industrial standard, and make uh, make the product ready for customers or developers uh, to choose. Not on, not uh, only from one SOC, Mati SOC. And when you work with a different SOC, you don't have to start over your, your expertise from the previous SOC. Because it's ARM, it's one ecosystem, 
some things they, they work? Still there are a lot of difference, even they are all based on ARM Cortex and something A55, A72, but still there, there is a lot of difference. Some people are talking about system ready and stuff like that where did you want a one USB stick or whatever and it just boots on all the different ARM processors? Ah, okay. Um, actually, that is uh, uh, for 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 the students. That uh, that is a uh, uh, that is a, a fan. But uh, for the r real industrial users, they 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 already choose what uh, OS they want. They they don't need the multi boot from a different uh, uh, from uh, for different OS from a USB stick. And uh, this one there, that's a uh, log chip based. Uh, a new standard SOM called OSM, Open Standard Module. That is a, l a large one. The OSM uh, OSM Air is based on a, a rock chip chipset. And this one? This one is a, is a new. Uh, it's an engineer sample. It's a, not looks uh, so beautiful, but uh, this uh, OSM based on Linux chipset. So it's right here, huh? Yes. Maybe. So you have a partnership going on with the Linux to bring bring their chipset to, uh, to SOM and to a uh, developer board. With the Cortex-A55 and M33, a lot of interesting combination there for the yeah. embedded world. Yeah. Yeah. So it's nice to see you in, uh, in Europe at the embedded world. It's been a good show for you? Finally, three yeah. years. Yeah, it's I been a strange back. three years, no? Uh, unbelievable three years. But uh, I'm happy that uh, today I'm here uh, in the embedded world, and uh, as I already uh, saw a lot of good friends, partners, customers, and they gave us um, uh, a lot of good feedbacks. We're excited. Is your company full speed like normal, like before COVID? Everything is like normal now? More than that, because we, we lost a lot of things during the past three years. We must uh, work even harder than before to gain back a lot of things. So uh, it's full speed. If people visit you in your office, it's just going to be very, very, very busy. And, Overloaded. And uh, I guess constant meetings, the whole show, people coming and saying they want to do that, they want to do this. And with you, they can do it. Uh, a lot of things they can do, but we cannot do everything. But um, we are open to discuss uh, their demands. All right. Cool. Thanks a lot. Thank you.